Hello everyone, my name is Sammy and I work as a wiki writer for the Age of Oblivion mod for Seven Days to Die. And today I would like to show you how to download just the changed files if there is a minor update for the mod so that you don't have to download the full four gigabyte file again. Now before I continue, I do want to make a note that there is a caveat that if any files were deleted, this will not change those files. You will need to delete those manually. So remember, if they're deleted, make a note of them, write them down on a post-it note, write them down on a sticky, uh, Put them into a notepad on your computer, wherever you want to do it, to remember to go in and delete that file. Because it may cause issues if you don't, and if you're giving these patch files to players of your server or whichever, you want to make sure that they know that information too, that this is the file they have to delete and where to find it. Okay, with that said, I have my downloads open here. This is the original 3.0 zip. I renamed that. And then this is my regular play game. To find the history, it's very easy. Click history. And this will tell you each and every single update that was made. This is when 3.0 was released. 3.01 and 3.02. So I'm going to go into 3.01 and you can see the changes that were made. You can see there was changes to the quests and exactly what was done as well as change to the Unity 3D file. This is where we're going to have to get kind of funky. Okay, so there's no way exactly to download these particular files without having to do them manually. It's just not possible right now. I've looked. Okay, so we are going to have to make this manually. And to do that, we're going to have to follow the exact same structure as here. And you can do this very simply if it's just for you. You can just download the two files that changed. This is for the 3.01. Just download the two files that changed. And then you can look at where they go in your game, in mods, and then into quests, config, quest.xml, and you can drag and drop over here. And just replace and then go back to mods and then pets and resources and then drag and drop the unity 3d in okay. but let's say that you want to actually put this somewhere you have a server with players and you want to give them the patch rather than send them to the website and go through this process to update their game or you've made changes to whatever patch was put out and you want to make sure that they have the correct changes. So you need to create a patch file. So you would just go ahead and follow this same setup here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these folders. Mods, this is why my downloads is clean. I'm gonna go into mods and then add the quest folder. Follow the naming scheme exactly. Oops. Caps does matter. And then there's config in this one. And go back over here, and there is resources in this one. Okay. So now we will cut the quests. Go 
over here, paste, and then go back to downloads, cut the animals, and go into the pets resources. Where did my... Did I delete it? I did. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong one. Cut. Pets. Resources. Paste. Okay, so now we have this particular 301 patch. So now I'm going to go to 7-zip, add to archive, make sure the zip's in the name. And I'm going to do AOO-alpha. 3.0-3.01-patch. Okay, we'll go back in here for my game. And you open this patch file in your zip program. And now you will be able to just drag and drop. Just like you would if you had downloaded it from the website. You could just drag and drop and it should automatically update things for you but it will not delete anything as i will show you now so i am going to change this to alpha 3.01 because i'll show you 3.02 okay so back to the main page Back to history, 3.02. So in 3.02, from 3.01 to 3.02, the crop config.zip was removed. I'm assuming it was accidentally put up there in the first place. And the quest.xml was changed again. So let's go ahead and make another patch file for 3.02. I am going to copy my mods folder and I will rename it to mods because this will be a new a new one. I do not have pets in here so I am going to remove the pets. But I do have the quest. Now you'll notice this one was removed. We can't do anything with the patch file for that. So this is one of those, you know, hey, go into your crops in the mods folder and remove cropconfig.zip. Crop so you, everybody would have to do that manually if they were doing this. I had already removed it, so I'm good to go. Now for this one, this was changed again. So let's download it. We'll download the newer update where he fixed the, uh, the farm quest here, along with the butcher quest and such. Okay, and it should have downloaded. We'll go ahead and cut this, and then go back just like we did before and paste it in. This time, yes, we'll replace it. And same thing, we're going to go ahead and add it to an archive, zip it up, and alpha 3.0, 3 3.01 to 3.02 zip. Okay, so now you have your, your patch files, you have, I have the 3.0 zip, the original, I have the 3.01 patch, and then I have the patch from 3.01 to 3.02. So now just to make things even more convoluted. Say you want to go from alpha 3 to alpha 3.02. Can you just combine these two? Yes and no. So in order to combine them, you have to combine them very very carefully to make sure that the last patch is what holds 
and if you have many many files this is going to get very very convoluted luckily in each of these updates there's only two file changes per each one so it's pretty easy in this case I am going to go ahead and create another archive here of the same mods folder. A O O Alpha 3.0 to 3.02. So this will give me a starting zip. But this is the last one. This is the last quest. This is the most recent quest. We do not want to touch this because it will have the patch. Oops, sorry. This will have the patch from the 3.01 change to the quest 2. So if we go back to our 3.01 patch, and we look at it. We can't just merge because we don't want to overwrite the quests. But we can add the pets to it. So let's drag and drop the pets folder over. And yes, we will add that. So now we have the 3.01 change for the pets. And then the resulting later change to the quests. And that will give us both patches together. But it's very easy if you're not watching what you're doing to overwrite the quest and you're back to just the 3.01. So this is more of an advanced technique if you know a little bit more about computers and what you're doing because you can get very turned around very quickly. This is why I say if you are confused, this is really not clicking for you. There's just too much going on and you're not really sure that you can do it without messing something up. It really is much easier if more data involved to just delete the mod, all the mod files and reinstall it fresh rather than try to figure out how to do all of these piecework things. Now that you have these patch files, you can go ahead and push them to players for your server. For me, I can take this patch file, this one actually, the latest one, sorry, and I can push them to our server uh, for our LAN server. I can push them to our family external drive. Uh, where we share all of our files so one of us will download the mod or one of us will download the patch and we push it to our our LAN NAS basically our LAN hard drive and then the others can grab it so we're not actually downloading it multiple times throughout the same house I know this was confusing. I know it was a little bit different. It's not as straightforward as just going and grabbing the zip and downloading it and deleting and then re-adding. But if you want to just get the files and put them into your personal game, it really is super simple. You can download each individual file and then place them where they're supposed to go. But if you're wanting to make it a little bit easier for someone else, you need to go through this process of creating the patch file. Because unfortunately, Visual Studio won't do it for us. Uh, if you hit go here to browse files, it'll actually give you all of the files for the 3.02 or the 3.01 release, not a patch. Which is sad, but that's the way that it is for us. If you have any questions, I will try to answer them on the Discord. Or any of us on the team can try to answer them. There's many helpful players as well. I am working quite a bit as of late, so I'm not as responsive as I used to be. 
but I will help when I can. I really hope this did help, maybe at least a little tiny bit, and have a good night. See ya!